All right, in this video, let's go ahead and learn about the having keyword. So the having keyword works with group by, and basically it allows you to perform an extra filtering after you perform the aggregation. In our case, we have count, and count is simply summing up everyone from each country. So Afghanistan, three people, Albania, three people, right? So if we want to add extra filtering, i.e. let's say that we want to find out, you know, all the countries that have at least five people, right? We can perform that with having. And if I escape out of that, so the way that we use the having keyword is after grouping by, we specify the having and make sure that the having keyword must be before ordered by. So literally, right after group by. So now we can say having, and this now takes a function, so we can pass a function. So let's go ahead and say count, so count, and then, so basically we're doing the same thing, so count and then star, so every column, and then order by, so that's like that. And now we can specify the actual condition. So having count star, and then let's let's say that the count must be at least five, right? If I press enter, you can see that now we get every single country where there is at least five or more people. So if I press Q, and then in fact, let me put this small as you can see everything in one line. So if I put full screen and then clear that so you can see the, the exact statement. Select country of birth, comma, count star. So this is the counting of this column right here from person, group by, and then country of birth. And then having the count bigger, so this is the bigger sign then five, and then we can perform the actual ordering. Press enter, you can see right there. So let's go ahead and change this to a bigger number. So let's go ahead and say uh, 40. Let's see all the countries with 40 or more people. And you can see that the list is much smaller. So Brazil, China, Indonesia, Philippines, Poland, and Russia. So we could actually also um, say bigger or equal to 40, right? Let's see if we find anyone. Nope. So if we say bigger than 41, so let's go ahead and say 41. So you can see that Russia will be out of the list. So Russia was here. But if I include equal, so greater or equal, you can see that Russia now is included. Now, if we put anything above 180, just China will be in this list. So if I go 180, so 180, enter, you can see that China is the only country. I can also perform the opposite. So I can say any country that has the population less than, or actually less or equal, than 180. So China won't be included. So every single country is included apart from China. So you can see China is not on the list. So this is it. So basically, you can use the having plus, you know, this aggregation right here. And basically, the way that you find all of these functions is if you go to the docs, and search for aggregate functions. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can easy access this page. And basically you can see that the aggregate functions compute a single result from a set of input values. So you can go through, there are tons of these, and you can see that the one that we used was count, so count right here, and then count with an expression, so we, we use count star. And basically, this is the input of rows, right? So every single row. And you can use uh, JSON aggregate, max, mean. So checking, you know, the minimum age, for example. You also have sum. 
and if I scroll down, you have a bunch of things. So stats, so aggregate for functions, aggregate for statistics, uh, standard deviation, um, also ordered set aggregate functions, mode, and then uh, percentile disk. So rank, you can go through, you know, this doc and pretty much just read and see what kind of aggregation that you need for your query. This is all for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next one. See ya.